Hello guys, my name is Diana and welcome back to another video of reacting to fantastic, fantastic houses. Today we're going to be looking at a video looking at the biggest closet in the world. So let's get into it. I just got to take a photo of myself in front of this house because it's so insane. Yes, gates. Ah, yes. I love this. I love the gates. Mm-hmm. Close off from everybody else. And our car is actually right up here. I wanted to get out on the street because it would be pulled up. You know, I'm on my phone looking at emails and stuff and I look up and I'm like, what in the world Ooh. is this place? Wow. 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 Do you see this? Do you see this? It's amazing. This place. Like this is clearly Texas. I actually think this car might be for the butler and... <laughs> he said the Rolls Royces for the butler. <laughs> the Bentleys for the landscaper, maybe the Bentley, <laughs> this one's for the landscaper, anyway. This guy is hilarious, but he's just trying to basically say, this house is so big, I know everybody that works within the area is well off. That's what he's basically saying. Um, this property tour is insane. I don't even want to tell you what you're about to see, but you might see the biggest closet in America, amongst many other things, so let's go. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Welcome to 47 Good to see Grand you. Regency. Wow. The foyer alone. Lord God, I am praying and manifesting this. Ooh. I claim it. Hello. Oh Hi, I'm Ryan. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. So this is your house. My house. Yeah. I own it. <laughs> nice. Want to sell it. I love that outfit. <laughs> Thank you. It matches your horse. Yes. It does match your horse. What is this horse? <laughs> it's only in Texas can you have a massive black crystal horse in your house, right? Crazy. Uh, I don't know who she is. Um, I'm going to guess she's a country singer. But that is just so stereotypical because I know she lives in Texas and she's got this look about her. I, I, I think she might be a country singer and very Texas like the horse. I won't be surprised if I don't see a cowboy hat. Easy, crazy, crazy. Yes, but it didn't always look like this. No? Mm -mm. What do you used to look like? Very traditional, boring, grandma-like. Got it. And you she's got taste. If she's transformed it to this, then she knows what she wants in life. You came in and you were like, yeah. uh-uh. I said, if I never get to go back and live in Beverly Hills, I'm gonna bring Beverly Hills here. You did it. Yes. You did it. It was my it. vision. It is here. It's my vision. What an entrance. Crazy. Well, show us around. Thank you, thank you. Well, we've got the sunken wine tasting room. This is she has a wine tasting room. What? A room for just wine tasting. That's it. Wow, money. I need to be rich. This is where we sit and oh, drink wine. And... I didn't even notice this right here. <laughs> wow. So climate controlled wine cellar. Every piece of glass in this house has motorized shades. Over here you've got the beautiful formal dining room with a water wall. So it's really fun to have a dinner party and have the water making its lovely sound, Crazy. which it's not on today, but. You have a lot of really cool landscaping too. I just noticed when we were coming in with like the fountain. Listen, you got... she must have like at least 30 people landscape her house because that is a large property and everything is in place. Nothing is out of shape, not out of, it's nothing is sticking out, it's just amazing. That you got, you have lights hanging from the trees. How do you get those lights up there? <laughs> Like a boom truck? <laughs> so um, that's a massive uh, Egyptian crystal chandelier that I had made in Egypt. Got it. So you like details? Love details. Yeah, I can tell. Love details. This is the formal living room. I wanted to be able to walk completely around my living room. Got not it. just stop and go back out the other direction. So right. we've actually held. If I had a living room like that, I mean, it just looks like you pass it by. It doesn't look like a living room you actually chill in. It just looks like a, a foyer chilling area. Maybe the guest waits there while the butler gets to call you up from upstairs. Yeah, it looks like that area, you know. Wait here, I'll go get Madame. <laughs> That's 
that's what it looks like. We've actually held fashion shows in here and everything. Is that you? The, yeah, the... you'll see me everywhere in the house. My husband can't go anywhere without seeing me. Yeah, it would be weird, right? That's a good thing. I love her. This is where everybody gathers to watch in... sports, whatever, Same. whatever. You live here? Yes. It doesn't look like you live here. <laughs> well, there's, a, there's only two of us that live here, so it's pretty easy to keep clean all the time. In Texas, we always believe the master should be on the first floor. He needs to have the bedroom upstairs, no? Like, but I guess they believed, uh, Texans believed that. They believe that the, the main bedroom should be on the first floor. I don't personally believe that. No. Ah. Why do you want to live upstairs? Why would you want to, I don't want to live upstairs. <laughs> so this is the master retreat. Beautiful. You have a lot of access out to the pool over and over. Yes, and you, th that's the reason you don't see any curtains in this house is because everything's on blinds. And so in here we put room darkening blinds because we like it to be very dark when we sleep in here. So gotcha. we didn't want curtains to block the view of the beautiful golf course and the whole. Beautiful, beautiful view. But won't you get a better view from upstairs? <laughs> Why well, do you have a downstairs bedroom? I think I'd be have a better view in the upstairs, but Tire. let's see. The backyard that's very much like a retreat. You know, there I am again. There you are again. <laughs> your wow. master bath retreat. Wow. With a shower big enough for 20 of your best friends. Wow. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> this is crazy. There's you again, just to make sure. I love this. Like middle bathtub, like right in the center. Yes. Yeah. And while you're here soaking, you can. It's absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, look at that. With her, that looks like a Versace robe. Um, I actually don't mind that shower. It's like a wet room, but it's it's got a glass separating it from the other room, so that I can step into dry land instead of wet land. Do you know what I mean? I absolutely love this. The bath is very different. I like how it's like got the cages around it that's very different i love it and you can actually watch tv what is this room this is this is the closet ah! what in the world so the whole reason behind this Woo! closet was please and that's just bags i haven't even seen clothes yet please explain well i was always known for having pretty closets depending just it didn't matter what house i lived in i always had a pretty closet and inevitable every time we would have the event the women would get their glass of champagne and then say can i go see your closet so we would end up sitting on the floor in my closet just having a good time so i said why not build a closet big enough to have look at that ginormous perfume bottle it's like this big i don't even think they sell these in normal shops actually hold the charity events in the closet now in the closet in the closet how big is this closet three thousand square feet three floors she holds a charity event in her closet because it's that big. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. This is incredible. The class has three floors? Yeah. We can fit about 100 women in here for a party. We've had 100 women in here. In the closet? Oh, yeah. This is where you keep all your masks? Yes. That's a nice wall. Oh, that's also a nice. That they, All the watches are nice. <laughs> all, all those watches are also nice. Unreal. And there you are again, three times. <laughs> Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before in my entire Ooh, life. That's good. Wow. These are what dreams are made of, guys. This is incredible. I mean, I don't think I'll ever like buy so much clothes that would fit three floors of closet, but just give me two floors and I'll be happy. <laughs> that's all I need. Oh my God. So you have a bar in your so closet. Champagne. There's even a damn bar. Pain bar. In your closet. <laughs> so I can entertain the girlfriends up here. Is this, remember, this is where we all want to sit when we're having a party anyways. This is in the where closet. We hang out. Yeah. Man. Look at these shoes. It's the Christian Louboutin wall. Oh, so the, the brands. Listen, her closet is categorized by designer brands rather than oh blacks go together reds go together nudes go together she's like this is the christine louboutin wall <laughs> i love it absolutely love it and to have their own wall <laughs> wow especially christine louboutin because i have like 75 pair oh that's what i'm wearing see look at that yeah i should have my own closet yeah. like this <laughs> you know what is your favorite pair of shoes on this floor 
Come on, you gotta pick one. No, you can't. That's Why? Like, that's like asking you to pick your favorite child. I have one. I have one child. She's my favorite. <laughs> you only have one right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, she's my Wait favorite. Till you have two. Yeah, you're gonna sure. go, oh, which one's my favorite? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably one of my favorite pairs, though, because it's like wearing jewelry on your foot. What? Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. So that's probably one of my favorite pairs. That's beautiful. Where did you wear this? Or do you oh, wear it? Is this like to the one. gym? No. <laughs> No, <laughs> to the gym. definitely not the gym. <laughs> no. This is the light colored side. That's Got the it. dark colored side. Ah. Lighter, you know, this is more summertime, you know. Got it. Yeah. And of course you have to have like a, like your rollout spice rack, you have a rollout scarf rack. Obviously. I'm the kind of person that if I can't see it, I won't wear it. Right, So I have Same. To, I just, I have to see everything. That is a, a, a good way to live actually. She's saying if you can't see it, don't wear it. It just, reaffirms that if you haven't worn something in a long time just get rid of it you know if you can't actually see it you're gonna forget about it and that's a lot of us in our closets we 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 don't wear it because we haven't seen it in a long time so i think a spring clean helps with that go through your stuff if you don't like it if you haven't seen it in a long time then get rid of it I, have Same. To, I just i have to see everything came up the steps and i was like i don't see scarves i don't know if i'll ever wear them. <laughs> If Amelia's watching this, please turn off the camera right now. Please stop watching. So, tons and tons of clothes. Do you do you really inventory your clothes though? You know what you have? Do you have like a list somewhere, like yes. an Excel? Yeah, yep. Wow. On an Excel spreadsheet. Of everything you have. Her clothes are on an Excel spreadsheet. Oh my God. I'm sorry, like, I won't be able to manage that. That's how much clothes she has. You have. At least when you lose your stuff, you can be like, here police, here's my Excel spreadsheet of everything I owned, or here insurance company, here is a list of everything I owned, so that you can claim everything back. <laughs> yeah. Shoes, belts. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Oh my god. How many? Including. I don't know why they bleeped that one including out. Including the pair I have on right now. <laughs> how, how many dresses do you have? Uh, I've only got like 192 dresses. Yeah, I was thinking it's gonna be a low number. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a dress girl that much. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. After you, you want me Go to ahead. Go? Okay. Yeah. There's you over there. I yeah, found oh, you. Yeah, me again. <laughs> How many photos of you are in this house? <laughs> now you would think that would be like an ego thing, right? But it's yeah. my husband that wants them. Houston, this is where you find this closet. Are you recording? Right here. Do you see that? Do you see it? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. I mean, I don't even know what else to say here. There's more to the house though. Yeah. Oh Lord, there's so much. Oh my God. Is this in parts? We've only seen the ground floor, master bedroom and her closet. Oh my God. That house is huge, so I know there's much more. Okay, let's do it. Wait, where's Ryan? Oh, Ryan. We're, Ryan. We, we lost Ryan. Yeah. Uh, Look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> it's your color. Totally Are you okay that I just put this on? <laughs> sure. <laughs> What's mine is yours. <laughs> this is a coat. You have everything in this closet. Can I wear this for the rest of the tour? Sure. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Where are we going? Might get too hot, but whatever. <laughs> I'm super comfy. I have a big pink animal on me. This is the pretty kitchen. I'll call it the pretty kitchen. Oh, it's great. Huge. So we don't really do anything in here except, you know, have it look pretty all the time. Cause I don't oh, cook. You don't cook. <laughs> That's the like biggest kitchen, kitchen I've ever seen for someone who doesn't cook. And then Very every cool. woman has to have a glam room. A glam so room? I have my own personal glam room. Wow. So. And you've got wigs and everything. Yes. Crazy. Asked her which one was her favorite. She couldn't tell no. me. No. Oh really? You can't pick, look, this one would go with your outfit today. Oh my God, it totally would. <laughs> it would, that it would. Outdoor pieces, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So upstairs. So up to the second floor we go. We're finally going upstairs. That was just the ground floor, guys. Uh, I I'm tired. I feel like I've walked through her house already. And you said Gucci Mane actually did a music video in your closet? Yes. Well, actually, he came to just do the film in the closet, but once he got to the house, he was so impressed with the house, he said, I'm filming all over the house. So they did a stripper pull in the wine room. They did a stip stripper pull in my bedroom. They had naked Crazy. women laying on the counters in the kitchen. Amazing. <laughs> what? How do you get into this closet? Teresa. 
she's got a finger identification to unlock the door upstairs. Wow. Oh, man. Wait, let's show you. Just look, because now you're on the second floor here. Crazy. Fingerprint controlled. So I, so I have two doors in the entire house that are fingerprint controlled. Okay. This, this access into the closet and also into my office. Unbelievable. The only reason I might want to put my master bedroom on the second floor is that every day I could like walk down these steps and announce that I have awoken. Like my sentiments exactly, you know? Like I could just be look, hello peasants. I'm kidding. <laughs> But that's my sentiments exactly. I get to look down at everything that I have built with my money, with the help of God, and just be like, ah. It's like a daily reminder of what I've accomplished. Like I would put this on and just be like, you know, Amelia, I am awake. This is the man cave. Oh, wow. So this floor right Whoa. here. This floor right here now is the man cave. So this is where all the TVs are. Right. Well. All the other TVs. You got five out of 27 TVs in the house. 27 TVs in the house. I got you. <laughs> okay. So because I had the closet, my husband needed to be spoiled in some. I don't understand why there's five TVs though. What's that? What's that about? I don't know. In some manner. So right. I gave him the man cave. So he's got all of his TVs. He's got his stocked bar. And then of course you've got the solarium over here where you just literally have the best view in the house. What is that? That view is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love the, the, the large windows, so much lights coming in. And that's a really, really nice man cave, I must say. What is that thing that's hanging? Is it a big ornament? It's a ball. Uh, there's right. artwork on it. You can't really see the artwork unless it's at night, but you oh, see you the see ladies. It's a face. Yeah, and there's a kid and there's a woman. Oh wow! It's actually artwork. But Amazing. this is the million dollar view right here because yes. you get to see Bear Branch Reservoir. Okay. Which a hundred years from now will still look like that because it's all pr protected land. Got it. And there's the golf course. You got over the pool. Yeah. And that's okay. That's a fire pit down fire there. Fire pit. Mm-hmm. So we're going to run, we're going to catch a flight back to New York. Okay. You're amazing. Thanks. If you're watching this right now, come by this house because it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. End of vlog. Incredible. My favorite, favorite, favorite part of the house is the three tier closet, three floor closet. It's absolutely amazing. You know, I won't even need one cabinet. I would probably only need one cabinet to fill up my clothes, but her closet is absolutely amazing. It's what dreams are made of. It's beautiful, beautiful. Um, would I buy this house? Yes. This house is right up my alley. I love it. It's, gl it's glistening when you walk in. I love the floors. The floor is very consistent with the rest of the house on the first floor. The only thing I wouldn't have is my bedroom on the ground floor. Because I don't know why I'm always making reference to burglars. I need to stop that. But if a burglar's hack come in, you need some time for them to make it upstairs. <laughs> You need some time to make for them to make it upstairs and I like the fact that the upstairs is a little like a little I think that's just her closet though I'm not sure but I would have had that finger identification thing just before you actually enter the main area of the second floor that's what I would do but this house I would buy I would buy I would buy I love it all right so now we're gonna read the comments and see what they say okay seven million dollars for this property is very reasonable to be honest I feel like you get more for your money when you're um building in south um yeah a lot of people move to the south of america um to get a little bit more for their money the houses are absolutely huge as soon as i saw that house i knew it was somewhere in the south amazing um the fact that her closet is almost the same size as my whole house mate exactly what i'm trying to say um this ain't no closet that's a freaking shopping mall exactly literally it's a shopping center shopping center um they wouldn't know if i lived in their house they really wouldn't i could just stay in one cabinet of the closet and they won't be able to tell can we get that arranged <laughs> 
um, she's not so showy, she's so open and friendly, yes, because when that guy came out with the fur coat and I was like, oh my God, this woman is gonna absolutely scream. But she was so cool with it. Like, I like that. She's very humble. Um, I know this is going to sound stupid, but seven million seems cheap for this house. I'm telling you, you get more for your money if you are building in the South. Love it. Um, imagine her saying, I don't have anything to wear while looking around her closet. I don't think she would actually ever say that. Like, she just got so much clothes. It's unbelievable. Um, her closet is bigger than my whole house. Her shower itself is the size of my whole bathroom. My sentiments exactly. It really is huge. Why not enjoy your money? When you die, you can't take it with you. I think she is enjoying her money, yeah. <laughs> She's bought so much things. <laughs> She's enjoying it. Um, who is this lady and what does she do? I wish somebody answered that because I would love to know as well. I'm, my guess is a, a country singer. Let me know what your guess is below and then we correct ourselves once we do our Googles. Um, I've only got like 192 dresses. I mean, literally, I think that's like the smallest items, number of items that she owns, 192 dresses. She says she doesn't wear money dresses. So everything else that she does have is a whole lot. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it there. Like, I think everyone is just blown away and um, they talk about how much you can get. I mean, they talk about um, that's a huge house for seven million. Yes, it is. I'm telling you, you get more for your money if you are building in the South, if you are buying in the South. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy that. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you in my next video.